Welcome back here with us on Overdrive. Now, if you're a regular viewer of our show, you're already aware of the fact that we do track the latest smart technologies and innovations in the automotive sector. And the latest one to have caught our eye is the Hypixie, which is a hybrid technology that converts your petrol or diesel vehicle into a hybrid car. Green Propulsion Labs is a startup co-founded by Amitabh Saran, who holds a PhD in Computer Science, US-based Lhasa Mokligard, a doctorate in Control Engineering, John Bangura, a PhD in Electromagnetics, and Shalendra Gupta, a former IIMA graduate who handles the finance and various other logistical aspects for the startup. From humble beginnings in 2013 and road testing one hybridized vehicle on city roads without the support of a professional test bed, APL has come a long way to develop hybrid and electric powertrains to convert fossil fuel vehicles into a hybrid vehicle. The startup has already won several accolades for its efforts and we caught up with Mr. Saran to find out more about their journey and how this technology works. So Mr. Saran, thank you for joining us on Overdrive. Uh, the first thing I would like to know is that there, the Indian automobile industry, there are various hybrid uh, cars available in the market. There are electric cars that are available for consumers. So what uh, got you interested in coming up with such a technology for India and aftermarket fitment? Sure. So uh, I guess the idea kind of started in 2011 uh, when the Toyota Prius was launched in the country. Mm -hmm. So as a set of people, uh, we're not really against full electrics, but um, I do believe that it will take a while before uh, uh, we have renewable sources of electricity uh, from which we are generating this. So we have already been interested in hybrid technologies. Right. Unfortunately, the only car available in 2011 a Toyota Prius, right. Right? price points of 32, 34 lakhs. Right? Right. And so I am thinking that well, this just doesn't make sense because how many people are going to really be able to afford something like this. Right. I think so the journey started from there. As a four member team, we had a very, very good idea of what an hybrid vehicle would really look like. Mm. But we didn't, after all, we are a startup, right? Mm. So you can't start by building a hybrid vehicle. Right. right? So at that point, we decided, hey, there, there are millions of vehicles on the road today, mm. right? And they're all polluting. Mm. And the biggest problem is when you're on the highway, mm. you're doing well. Mm. But the moment you enter a city, yeah. that's when pollution levels increase. Right. That's when your mileage drops yeah. substantially, right? Yeah. Because you have this characteristic of Indian driving, which is you're always accelerating, deaccelerating, yeah. and that's happening like multiple times a minute. Right. So that's when we created uh, the concept of a product that could be retrofit hmm. on existing vehicles. Right. And we started by targeting only those vehicles that run in, in cities. So to a layman like me, how would you explain how this technology works? So. Uh, as a retrofit, yeah. finally, once it's been placed, your vehicle becomes like any other hybrid vehicle out there. Okay. For us, it was very, very complex because mm. you're dealing with multiple vehicles, mm. right? Different brands, different manufacturers, different models, right. different years, yeah. all that, right? So you've got to create a system which is in a position to uh, use our technology, mm. can be put onto a vehicle, and from that part, uh, it then converts it into a hybrid vehicle. It starts giving you improvement in mileage and a reduction in emission. How that works, uh, once it's put, the vehicle converts into any, I mean, we're fuel agnostic, so petrol, diesel, for all we care, a CNG, biodiesel, whatever it might be. Right. Uh, it's a standard vehicle. Mm. And we put our kit, our kit basically has five components to it. The first is our patented motor generator. Mm that you basically need to power the vehicle right. and you need to generate power when you're braking, yeah. right? So uh, generate energy when you're braking. So you have a motor generator, a wire harness. Um, that's again meant for very robust and very harsh weather conditions. And then it comes to the boot. Inside the boot, we have our electronics. Now this is, we'll talk about the individual components, but basically right. the electronics, which has our power electronics, AC, DC, DC, DC converters, um, our hybrid controls, all the software sitting inside. Mm. So we created a single platform where all this is available, right. right? You don't need to have multiple boxes, each vendor, different vendors supplying different boxes, all of that, just have one box. You just slap that in. We chose lead acid batteries, They're extremely green, the most recycled product on the right. planet even more recycled than aluminum cans. Yeah. So we chose them, very cost effective. Yeah. We've had to keep our battery management system 
completely agnostic of the battery chemistry. Mm. So tomorrow if there's lithium ion or some other chemistry, then yeah. we're able to change exactly. that without having to affect any other part in the system. And then the last but not least, the most important, uh, very important part of our uh, system is our uh, is our hybrid monitor, yeah. which basically allows you to monitor each and everything that's going on in the vehicle. So why should you opt for the Hypixie rather than carry on with your uh, petrol or diesel vehicle? Well, for starters, according to the ARI tested figures, you will get an increased uh, fuel efficiency, almost 20%, and also it cuts down tailpipe emissions by 20%. This also proves to be a completely green technology because it depends on battery-powered regenerator system rather than depending on an external source of electricity. To comprehensively understand how the APL team analyzes data of a car's daily cycle, Mr. Saran explained how the dyno at the lab functions. So we got this and this is uh, approved by ARAI and this allows us to run an entire simulated drive the way we actually have it on the road. Just trying to give you a brief idea of how we do our testing yeah. and just to also demonstrate what happens when a hybrid function really gets turned on. So we kind of put all kinds of sensors in it and you're finally getting to look at the computed fuel flow so the vehicle is idling right now, it's not really driving, the vehicle is idling, it's on, it's idling and you're seeing an instantaneous fuel flow that is mapped to about 0.12 milliliters per second. So that's the amount of fuel that the vehicle is really consuming at this point, a computed figure that it's consuming when it's idling right now, right? So like for example, when he presses the exit, you can see that the... It's gone up. It's gone up. So the fuel flow has increased because now you're pressing the accelerator, right? So just to show you, now he leaves the accelerator it will finally stabilize and will come back to a place which is around the 0.12 kind of okay. area. It will probably start coming down and finally come down. This is just to show you what happens in a typical vehicle. Now what we will do is, we will just have our hybrid motor do a little bit of assist. So part of that load now is being taken by our engine, the electric engine. So what happens to the fuel flow? For the same RPM, what happens to the fuel flow? See what happens. So we started the assist and immediately it fell to about 50%. Mm -hmm. Net net, at the end of your drive cycle, you'll see that, oh, my saving was 20, 25%. So there's one concern that uh, I would have as a layman if I were to uh, invest in this technology is the safety aspect of how it is run in the booth, basically, the placement of it. So, right. you know, what are the measures that you've taken to keep sure. it safe? As part of our ARI approval also, we have to create systems where once they're installed, it's set in a place where it's, it's all fixed. Uh, there are brake tests that are done on every single vehicle before it comes out, and the same brake tests apply to us. We've designed the system, we've designed the installation of a system in such a way that it's, the load is well distributed on both the horizontal sections as well as on the longitudinal sections. It's only about four inches of space that we take in this. The battery sit on top and the electronics below. I've just removed the cover just so that you can see. Uh, the cover sits on this like this. So at the end of the day, you have our electronics sitting here, the battery sitting here, and they're held in place with strong sections, which are, so there are four holes that are needed. We drill those four holes and uh, systems in place. And it's gone through the same battery of tests that every car has to go through. Keeping in tandem with current tech advances, APL provides its customers with a mobile or web app to monitor the green score in the vehicle. It's an app that analyzes the driving pattern and provides alerts for proactive maintenance of the vehicle. Well, the Hypixie will be available in the market by the end of this month at a cost of 60,000 to 1 lakh rupees. Initially, the presence will be in Bangalore, New Delhi and Punjab. But in the future, they also plan to have a pan-India presence. On that note, it's time for us to take a wrap on this week's episode of Overdrive. But do stay in touch with the team through Facebook and Twitter and follow our latest videos on our YouTube channel. Until next week, it's goodbye.